In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite offenses in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel, what I do here on YouTube is I post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day, four times a day. We have a video that goes live at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get access to all of those resources and videos and content that are going to help make you a better Madden player. Also, really quick, just so you know, about 40% of the people that actually are subscribed to me watch my videos. That means that 60% of you guys that normally watch my videos haven't subscribed yet. So if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, it helps out the channel a ton. It's completely free to do. And also while you're at it, go ahead and hit the like button for me. And I really appreciate that. Okay, guys, so I want to talk about this New England Patriots book. It's been a little bit since we've talked about it, but the New England Patriots offensive playbook is absolutely insane. It's the best playbook in Madden 21. I want to talk about a formation that I have not talked with you guys about a ton um, in terms of some of the power things and some of the cool little concepts that you can use to be able to beat both man and zone from the split close pats formation. Now with the split close pats, one of the best packages that you can put put in here is you could put the backup or the fullback at tight end or fullback at halfback package and have a tight end there you could also use the tight end at fullback what that's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to audible seamlessly right over here into the a slot offset now the play that we're going to be going over we've talked a little bit about x drag trail in previous videos so the play we're going to be talking about today is h or uh, i'm sorry we're going to be talking about two plays we're going to talk about z spot and then we're also going to talk about HB wheel. Okay. And we're going to talk about kind of two of them um, with two different types of things that they're going to do really, really good against a lot of defenses. And the beauty of this is if you, if they come out and they're in dime one, four, six or, or dollar three, two, six or something like that, then you can always audible down to other formations in this package or in your audibles. Okay. So first things first with, uh, with this play HB wheel. And again, um, if you want to get the full offensive ebook for this playbook, I have a full offensive ebook based out of New England that covers this entire playbook. It shows you split close, trips tight end, gun bunch, ace slot offset, gun U trips, five wide, empty ace patriot, single back ace close. It shows you how to run every single scheme. It is the most comprehensive ebook on offense in Madden 21. So if you have not picked up that offensive ebook yet, that link to pick that up is in the description. It's a complete guide, it shows you everything you need to know about the New England Patriots playbook so if you haven't picked that up that's in the description okay so split close hp will what i like to do on this play is i've got a couple of different options especially if you have hot route master but what you're going to see me do a lot is i'm going to run double flats but on the back side of the play i'm oftentimes going to be putting my running back on the back side if i can on a ghost route if i can't put him on a ghost route then i'm going to put him on an option route just like this right here the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put Chris Godwin on actually a smart routed little hitch route right here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to smart route the tight end so that he goes on this nice little narrow uh, corner route to the right side. Now, really quickly, before we run this play, I want to make sure that you know to run this onto the wide side of the field. You wouldn't want to run this to the left side. You'd really want to just focus in and run this to the wide side of the field. And what you're going to see is it's going to give this corner route, this specific corner right here to Gronkowski, going to give him a lot more space. So what I like to do is motion Godwin to the right and snap, kind of break right here. Um, and what you'll notice is this corner route to Gronk does a really, really good job at getting separation against zone. Now, another thing that you could do with this if you wanted to is you could also do something like this where you basically motion out that streak route and what that'll do is give you just a little bit more space um, to be able to hit that corner route against zone now one of the things i want you to know as you're watching this video is know that these coverages we are running um i am running 25 yard purple zones okay so there's 20 to 25 yard purple zones on the field and as you're seeing this is still torching it Another thing you'll notice is this route to Chris Godwin. You'll see here that um, when you put him on a hitch route, pretty much virtually every single zone, including Tampa 2 with the shade coverage down, right? A lot of people like to go Tampa 2, a vert hook against these little hitches. But when you motion this hitch out, what you're going to notice is these vert hooks don't really guard it. So pretty much every zone, you're going to have Chris Godwin open. But also what you're going to have is you're going to have a lot of an ability 
to be able to hit Rob Gronkowski. So Rob Gronkowski is going to kind of be your bell cow from this. And as you'll see right here, you know, it doesn't matter what the coverage is. He's going to get over the top of virtually every zone coverage in the game. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is if you smart route this route to Mike Evans, this is a great read for you if you're wanting to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So set the same coverage up. But here you'll see that this is going to be a nice little read over the middle of the field against man coverage. So if they run man coverage, I'm able to hit that smart routed post route. One of the other things that I want you to know is if you're facing someone that's running a lot of cover three, something like this, and they're running Mabel, but you know maybe they're not putting their cover three um, in the right discipline as far as zones go. When you run this setup right here, what you're going to notice is if you get a little bit of time in the pocket, this is actually can serve as a really nice cover three one play touchdown over the top of the defense, as you can see right there. If they're kind of falling asleep a little bit, then you're going to be able to hit this route to Mike Evans. However, what they what they will typically do from time to time out of this is they will deep half both of their outside corners. So you see right here, both of my outside corners are in a deep half. So I'm going to run that same combination now, but now what you're going to notice is instead of hitting that post route over the middle, I'm actually going to be able to have a lot of space to be able to throw this route to Gronkowski on the sideline, as you see right there, able to get that room and able to throw that ball. Now, I didn't talk a little bit, um, but if you have a tight end that has really, really good route running, this is actually going to be really good for like mutt teams. If you don't have a tight end with great route running, you'll notice that this corner route doesn't necessarily get a ton of separation against man-to-man, -man, but if he has good route running, he will. So, you know, basically what I like to tell myself is if I have a tight end that has really, really good route running, then I know I can hit that against man. If I don't have good route running, then I know I need to look somewhere else like hitting this little running back option route. Now from this formation, these option routes are absolutely money against man-to-man -man coverage. Right when the running back cuts to the outside, you're gonna get instant separation against man-to-man -man coverage that way. And the beauty is you can do this actually on both sides of the field if you wanted to. So let's say that we streaked God when we smart routed Gronkowski, did something like this right here. Then what you'll be able to see is both running backs should be wide open if they run man coverage. So on the right side and on the left side, both of these little backs are going to be wide open in this offense. Now, the last major thing that I want to touch on here is what about cover two defense? And I think cover two kind of does the best against this. But again, I want to show you what happens on this right side. So if you get this guy out about here to the numbers, you're going to notice that cover two kind of leaves him alone. And you're able to hit this quick read for about five to seven yards. Now, let me just clarify a little bit. One of the other things about cover two is if they run cover two to the HB wheel side of this formation, or not the HB wheel side, I'm sorry, but the corner route, the flood side of this formation, what you're going to notice here is once again, this corner route is going to have a ton of space to be able to move. The, so he's going to basically pull the safety to him. And most of the time, you're not going to have an issue hitting your corner route. Your corner route should be open, um, you know, pretty much at will. As you see right there, wide open to the outside. Uh, as long as he doesn't drop the ball, that's going to be an easy first down for you to pick up. Now, really quickly here, I want to give myself just a little bit more time. So I'm going to spy that, that, in, that defensive end right here. And what you'll see now, again, cover two, just give him just a little bit more space. But And part of this is because I don't have Gunslinger on Tom Brady, but typically that's going to be wide open against that defense. Now, the other thing that you're going to be able to do if they run some type of cover two on you is you can then hit your post route over the middle of the field. So this post route over the middle of the field is going to get really good separation. It's just basically a pass lead up. And as you'll see right here, this is a nice little one play touchdown against cover two. And so what this is going to force your opponent to have to do is your opponent is going to have to put somebody in the deep middle of the field to be able to go deal with the fact that, you know, Mike Evans just scored a touchdown. So a lot of times they'll do is they will throw their middle linebacker in the deep, uh, the deep third. And so now they're basically playing a, a, a Tampa two cover three out of that Tampa two almost, um, and now you'll see that you actually have a lot more room when they make that decision. You're going to have a lot more room because the safety on the right is going to kind of pinch in a little bit towards that post route. It's going to give you a lot more room to complete that corner route. So you have reads on this against man. You have reads against zone. In my opinion, this is one of the best plays in the entire game this year. Um, just does a really, really nice job. You see that you get a nice natural pick and rub for that flat route. You also have a really nice little hitch route. I'm telling you right now, these little hitches 
motioned out are super super tough especially if they're if they are you know running some type of mabel coverage the yellow zones don't really guard them when you motion them out i find that to be the super super key element so that's hb wheel now really quickly before we let you go i got another play for you i want to share with you but really quickly before we share that other play i want to talk to you about my text message membership if you enjoyed this video and you want to get the full split close scheme so just the split close offense not the whole new england playbook I actually have a full split close scheme in my text message membership, which you can pick up today completely for free. All you got to do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left of your screen, and it's in the description. So pull out your cell phone, shoot me a text message, and let me know that you would like to get the New England Patriots split close formation. And I'll shoot you the link. We got a one-hour video sharing with you the full gamut of all the things that you can do from this formation and also, if you want to get the ebook reminder, that link is in the description as well. And that shares with you the entire New England playbook. Okay, so Z Spot, I wanted to talk a little bit about this specifically as it pertains to zone coverage. So if they run like cover three or something like that, you're going to notice with this that you can motion Godwin across on this little hook route. And what you'll see is when he gets out here, if they're in cover three, you're going to be able to hit a nice little quick snap and throw. Um, right out there. So what I like to do with this, I actually like to turn this into effectively double hitches, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hitch Mike Evans and then I'm going to have Godwin on this little route right here. And you'll be surprised at how well this really does work against zone because what you're basically forcing your opponent to do is you're forcing your opponent to have to run some type of uh, cover two on that side of the field with these little quick snap throws. They're really, really effective. Um, for just getting the ball out quick, you'll see right here, I don't see anybody over there, so I can just throw that super, super quick um, out there to Chris Godwin. And what that's going to do and what you'll see and what you'll notice your opponent is going to do is he's going to have to go to some type of cover two, right? This is kind of the main thing that he's going to be able to do to deal with this. So you'll notice here that this route, um, if I throw it against cover two, they have a chance at, at getting out there and intercepting the ball. So that's where, um, you know, if I start facing a lot of cover two, what you're going to notice at a Z spot, and that's where I really, really like taking Mike Evans and just putting him on a simple hitch route, um, and then maybe taking them back and putting him on a little swing route right here, just these little quick little baby reads here. Uh, and what you'll notice is you can still hit that with a nice low pass right there once he button, once he curls up for your offense. So this is just something else that I really like to mix in from this from time to time with these little hitches. I think that these hitches are super, super effective. And when you compare them with little swing routes that are going to pull those flat zones, that's going to make all the difference in the world. And so really quickly, uh, what if they run man coverage, you might be asking. Well, if they run man coverage... Both of these curls should beat man to man coverage because you've motioned him. So you should see that right there, that little animation. And I threw that to the inside. I should have thrown that to the outside. But if I if I basically just get that ball out there, I don't know why I threw the inside there, but if you just throw that to the outside, you should see that this thing will work relatively well against the man coverage. So we'll show it to you right here, motion him out. And basically just pass lead it to the left and as you can see right there he's able to keep that inside position now you might need to low ball it you might need to you know try some different strategies with getting this ball in there but overall if you put pair these two concepts together i think you're going to find a lot of success from the split close it's one of my there you see it right there that nice little curl uh, animation one of my favorite offenses in the entire game especially when you start using all of the different features that you can for example out of z spot one of the other things that you could do is you could or i'm sorry halfback wheel one of the other things that you could do because you see here i have this nice little post route so i could turn this into a curl flat concept right i could take godwin put him on that hitch but this time i'm going to motion him all the way to the right left here and i'm going to snap the ball right at the numbers this is a nice little complement to everything else that we were doing earlier so there's a lot of things that you can do with split close this year i think it's one of the most underrated offenses in the entire game so if you want to get the full new england ebook go ahead and pick it up the link is in the description and if you would like to get just the split close scheme go ahead and shoot me a text message i've got a nice little video i can share with you from our text message membership our membership also covers other formations like the gun bunch the gun u trips uh week the single back trio from minnesota the big nickel over g defense a lot of high level madden schemes are covered in that so definitely don't want to miss out on that so make sure you shoot me a text and if you haven't picked up the ebook yet i'd highly encourage you to pick it up it's won a lot of people a lot of money so far in madden and i believe it could do the same for your offense